Hi, I'm Kevin Fritz. This week we're back at the Art of Cigars here in the Palladio in Folsom. And I'm Terrence. Welcome back to the Real Estate Lowdown. Hey, we're here inside the humidor where the cigars are stored. Hey, Leslie, can you hit on the main points of the humidor like temperature, humidity? Sure. Yeah, the temperature needs to be 70, per, uh, 70 degrees and then 70% humidity in order to keep your cigars nice and fresh. Awesome. So Leslie, what happens if uh, somebody forgets to put it in the humidor? Can they bring it back? Sometimes if they haven't been out of the humidor for too, too long or if it's you know, been just like maybe a week or two weeks, they might be able to, but uh, you want to keep it in the, the humidification or at least within a plastic bag with some humidity pack in it. Great. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Leslie. Wow, it feels really good to just sit back, relax, and hang out for a few minutes. Uh, so, Terrence, what fun have you had lately? Oh. Well, I went over to see a potential new listing, and I honestly thought it was Robin Hood's house. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the... What? What are you talking about? It had a Little John. <laughs> that was the smallest bathroom I'd ever seen. <laughs> I love it. Love it. That's funny. So what else is new? So we're watching the market and seeing what's happening. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Anything under $300,000 will not stay on the market longer than 24 hours. Wow. We have a little bit of an interesting issue between 300 and 700,000. I think part of it is that you have either move up or move down buyers where they either have to buy or sell first mm -hmm. to be able to get into that next property. Gotcha. So it's been kind of interesting in seeing the slowdown just a little bit. It's still on fire on the bottom end of the market, top end, a little rough. So what's gonna move those top end properties? You know, I think part of it is people coming back from vacation and uh, getting back into the, the vibe because school just ended, kids are out, they're playing, they want to get back. I think July we'll start to see an uptick in those higher end properties moving. Nice. What have you been up to? You know, I've been kind of noticing the same thing. We've had a little softness and I, mean, I think everybody's getting done with school and some schools just stopped going to school last week. Yeah. So my kids have been out for a couple weeks. You know, I was thinking just today about the market and where it's going and I really just don't think it's going to slow down. No, I think it's a little bit different from last time, you know. We have a lot more cash buyers now. We don't have as many people leveraged as the last time the market went up so crazy fast. Sure. One of the things I'm kind of excited about is what's happening south of 50. Absolutely. So there's about a 20-year plan from what I understand. There's 11,000 paper lots on the south side of 50 here. Wow, 11,000. 11,000. So that means three new overchanges that are going to tie north and south Folsom together. It's going to be awesome. That's cool. You know, our next, I think our first groundbreaking is going to be Russell Ranch, and they're talking about it breaking ground here in 2015. That's pretty amazing. So I'm hoping they've secured all the water rights and all the sewer rights, because I knew that was one of the main issues with the city of Folsom. We have one major sewer plant here, and they had a tie-in south side to north side. So I'm hoping they do it as soon as possible. I need more houses to sell, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage. We're going to sit back and enjoy a cigar. I want to thank Leslie and Eric here at the Art of Cigars. They'd love to have you come stop by and, and join them for a cigar when you're going to the movies. Yeah, and I'm Terrence Springer with Remax Gold. Stop by next time for more real estate lowdown. Well, hey, uh, uh oh, where do we need to go? <laughs> We're kind of we already did that, right? <laughs>